All right, guys, this ought to be a good one. The homeowner changed out the condenser himself, and there it is. It's a Goodman three ton. Boy, look at the oil. You can see the oil everywhere. He, he said he knew he left a Freon leak, but I think he left more than one. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go get some nitrogen out the truck and we're gonna pressure this thing up and repair these leaks. And I think he's got a leak down here too. We're gonna be repairing several leaks and he's gonna learn next time to call a HVAC professional instead of trying to do this shit himself. All right, we're gonna hook up the S-Mans to this thing. I think it's got some Freon in it, but I doubt it. Four TNA. It's an older air handler. It's a carrier, but it is a it is a four ten A rated air handler. Yep, there's still Freon in here. Damn, there's two hundred there's two hundred pounds of pressure in that thing. But it's but man, it's so oily out here. There's got to be a leak out here. Try to get that out of the way. Yeah, there's there's definitely got to be a damn leak out here. But I'm gonna scan that evaporator for leaks too. If anything, we can just get them a new coil. All right, so I only use Big Blue. And a lot of people spray it like this, you know. That's not good because that'll throw you off. You want to spray it like this. Just let it trickle. Yep, I see a bubble here. Can y'all see that? Nice big bubble. Watch, I'm gonna spray some more. Oh yeah, you can see it growing. So we definitely got a leak there. I think that might be his only one. You never know. I'm not seeing anything else. Yeah, we definitely got a hell a good bubble down there, but everything else looks okay. Oh yeah, look at the bubbles now. Okay, so we're gonna concentrate on that joint.
Okay, so we resoldered this one where the bubbles were. I didn't have no bubbles on that coupling right there. But I didn't like the way it looked. So I just went ahead and resoldered that coupling too. So we're going to let this cool off and then we'll put some nitrogen on it. All right, guys, I'm adding nitrogen to the system. We're almost at, I'm going to get it up to 200 pounds. I don't hear anything. All right, there we are. So 222.4. Probably going to put some Freon in there with that so I can do a leak search on the coil. I'm leaking somewhere over here. Okay, it was my hose. Or maybe it's... Well, now I got to see where I'm leaking now with these soap bubbles. Is it my regulator? No, it's not the regulator. Yeah, there it is. Well, I guess I'll have to put a wrench on there. I need to change my gaskets out really bad. Okay, it looks like it's settling out at 220. Okay, put some channel locks on there. Okay, now she stopped leaking. All right. Let me see if I can get a little bit of 410A in there. Okay, I'm getting some 410A in there. It ain't gonna be a lot, but between the 410A and the nitrogen, It'll be enough for me to run my leak detector on that indoor coil. Yeah, it's stabilizing out. Okay, I'm good with that. That's enough for the HTN to pick it up. Oh yeah, man, this brush works good. I'm definitely going to get me one. Uh, go, I need to find a place. To, uh, I'll have to do it right here and then clean it up. If you want me to, I'll take this one and I'll just, I'll, I'll give you some cash for it. No, you don't have to worry about that. You sure about that? I got you. Because it actually does work really good. Okay. It's a lot better than what it was. I'll soak it one more time. Picking up a leak right there. They're just giving her that to keep her comfortable, they said. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Ooh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tell him he's gonna have to have a coil. I mean, I fixed his his solder joints, and I'll go ahead and charge it up so they can have air. But he's gonna have to change his coil out. All righty, gentlemen, we're headed back over to the condenser. You saw that the evaporator. Say hi, honey. <laughs> Let's see what the pressure's holding. It was around 230, I believe. Yeah, it's still holding. Still holding. So I'm going to dump this nitrogen and a little bit of 410A that's mixed with it. And then I'm going to load it up with 81 ounces. So 80, 81 divided by 16 is say five pounds but he's got to have an evaporator coil and that was an r22 coil so that's why he busted it again that's just nitrogen going everywhere it's got a little taste of freon in it but not much so, I don't want to hear y'all. 97% of it is nitrogen. Get my vacuum pump. I'm not going to worry about pulling a big, deep vacuum with the hoses and all that. That's my uh, transfer pump. Because we got to come back and change this coil anyway. I'm just trying to get these people some air today. They've been without air for... A few days, I think he said. Say hi again, honey. <laughs> All right, I'll have to hot wire it then. You can. You can. Wait, get off. I'm move the unit just to get the damn drill back here. Alright, so I'm gonna hot wire this thing. Yeah, look at that. Look at that connection. You can tell this is a homeowner special. This is one of his rentals. No ground wire. I'm gonna tell him about that too. That is not good. This unit is not grounded. Pop that disconnect in. All right, so my little red thing got lost, so I got me a uh, half inch female cap to cap my pump off with but sometimes it gets really tight and you gotta put some pliers on it there it is all right so we'll set that down over here we'll hook the yellow hose up and hopefully this thing will take since it's not grounded and my cheater widow maker whatever you want to call it will work
Yep, it's working. All right, vacuum's pulling. We're just gonna let that pull down to about seven to 500 microns, depending on how long it takes, if it'll even get that far with a leaking coil. And then we'll, uh, we'll fill it up. I'm gonna pick up some of my tools. All right, well, you guys get to see one of my bins. Torch, torch, nitrogen, copper fittings, extension cord, sandpaper, and my scale. I've just got off the phone with the customer. He's approved uh, either a coil change out or an air handler change out. He said, we'll definitely do one or the other. He has no choice, but he'll, I got to get him prices on it tomorrow. I can give him a price on an air handler tonight, but I can't give him a price on a coil because carriers already closed because I have price books for my equipment. So, all right, put this on the scale. I gotta get my phone out. Connect this to my phone. Okay, zero it out. Zero again. There we go. There we go. I've already bled it, but I'm gonna go ahead and bleed it again just to make sure. Zero, zero, try to get this off my leg. So come on, zero, baby. I'd have to be close enough. And we'll go five pounds. Yep, no more leaks. Going slow, pound in. Yeah. Pull the disconnect, let me get this off. Okay, put that over there. Almost two pounds in, get it to five pounds and then we'll start it up. two and a half all right vacuum pumps ready to be put up three pounds Getting close to our five pound marker. It is a piston coil, but it's an R22 coil. All right, we're gonna get ready to shut it down. There's our five pounds. Might've went over a little bit, but that's okay. All right, let me go walk over here and tell the customer start this unit up. Can you go ahead and, hey bud, can you go ahead and put your thermostat on cool and turn it down for me? Oh, thank, thank you. All right, I just heard the contactor click. Let's put the disconnect in. She's running. It is 6.37 in the evening. 
Business has picked up. I've been at it since seven o'clock this morning. Like my suction probe lost its connection. There we go. That ain't looking too bad right there. Damn, I lost my suction probe again. Turn it off and turn it back on. There we are. I don't know if that makes it worse or better. Probably worse. 13 degrees of superheat. I'm going to go put my psychrometers in and get myself a target superheat. All right, we got a target superheat of 13.5. We're at 9.5. That's within four. I'm not gonna touch it. Pressures look good. And our air looks good. Our Delta T is a little high, uh, indicating low airflow. That coil is a little dirty, but y'all saw I cleaned it the best I could. So we'll recheck the Delta after we replace the uh, air handler or the coil and see if it gets any better. But 22 is not too bad, not too bad. A little high, but at least it's cooling. Yep, 12 degrees of superheat, we're at 8.5. All right, guys, I'm good with that. That'll do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, I'm really liking this GoPro chest strap. It's allowing me to film a lot more and you know i don't i'm hands free so this is the second video with the gopro chest strap and then me holding it in my hand for this part but let me know what you guys think about it if y'all like it and uh i'll be able to get a lot more film doing it this way thanks for watching y'all we'll see y'all on the next one